always asks why ballet but um, I can honestly say that I don't remember ever wanting to be anything else it was just something that was always part of my life my dad played in the packed orchestra and he used to always take me along at that point they had this thing where they could you could get comps for two rand to go if you go at half hour call before a show so he used to take me with all the time he used to see not just one cast but like four or five casts do a certain ballet so yeah that's it's just always been part of my life I, and then I, I actually my mom took me to ballet when I was four and that I think was just to do you know pull in your stomach and have a good posture and all of that and then from there on this love just grew for it and when it was time to go to high school I decided to go to an art school and then after school I auditioned to get into PACT as an aspirin dancer and from there on just you know climbed the ranks until finally I, I was made a principal which is a dream come true If you can make an audience member feel something, then you've achieved your goal. And I think that is what distinguishes between um, a quarter ballet member and a principal, is that you can, the audience feels something when you're dancing. And then obviously there's the whole storyline and being somebody else, going onto stage and you actually become a different character. You're taken away from your everyday life and you, you put into a role, something you must probably like for instance, um, a role like Carmen. It's so not my personality, so that's fun as I can do that for an evening and then go back to who I am. So I think that's the big attraction to me is you know, escaping from everyday life and becoming a different person with a different character. My very first Giselle, which was actually the very first principal role I ever did, I remember, like in your mind you, you have a feeling about what it must be like to be the principal of a show or when you come out or when it's just you on stage. Obviously you've done a lot of solos but when it's your very first ballet where you're the principal, um, I had all these, I imagined it a certain way and you dream about what it would feel like and I I can remember my first Giselle, it, it was, it was an unbelievable experience. I really enjoyed every every moment of it, even if something wasn't perfect, just being in that moment was unbelievable. You have to be very confident in yourself and you have to be very positive. You can't get to a step and think, oh I don't think it's going to work because it won't work. It definitely won't. You have to be very positive in your mind that you've worked hard enough and long enough on these steps and they will work. Um, I am a perfectionist. I think most dancers are. Um, there's a little bit of obsessive compulsive as well. I think most dancers have that. I think most dancers are A-type personalities. Um, you do, you have to, we practice the same steps day in, day out, trying to perfect them, so that's definitely a part of my personality. Obviously the classical music also has, an, like I said, my dad was in the orchestra and packed, so I also grew up with classical music around me, and it, it inspires you to do incredible things, and it inspires you to move a certain way and tell a story with your body. Um, music like Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet is unbelievable. Sometimes the music is so amazing you think I should just actually be standing still and not moving because sometimes I get the feeling I don't want to spoil the music because it's so beautiful. But um, it does, the music is what takes you away to a different place.